since I did the recording with when design for the Daily Digi Digest, I've had lots of questions from people asking about my workflow and process for creating layouts and collages in Lightroom and then moving them over to Photoshop to finish them up. And so I thought I would do a video to show everybody how I do that. I have all of my previews loaded into Lightroom and organized in Lightroom, tagged and keyworded. And so I've set up some collections for this photo book that I'm working on right now. You can see here and in the collections I drop, I have sub collections where I drop the photos that I want to use and all of the previews of the supplies that I want to use on one into one collection so that they're all e together and easy to find. In this collection I have three kits that I can choose from that I think will work well with this page and then I also have some templates by Cindy Schneider that are for QR codes. I had asked her to design these because I've been adding lots of QR codes to my photo books and I wanted to have some templates to make them look cute or better than what I can do on my own. I have a video here that I will be adding to this layout as well once uh, we're in the ready to print mode and then I'll upload it and get the link and add the QR code on one of these templates. And then I also took a screen capture from this video that I'm going to use on this layout because I couldn't get any still pictures of her face and I loved this one so I just pulled it out of the video there will be a video tutorial showing how to do that as well on the site. I'm not going to show you how to set up collections at this time because YouTube has tons of tutorials for every version of Lightroom that's out there. So I'll let you do a, a search for that with your specific version of Lightroom that you want to use. When I'm ready, I have everything ready and I'm ready to start scrapping, I move over to the print module and I have some templates by Janet Phillips this is my life templates that I converted into Lightroom templates. I love two page layouts and when design also has some already designed Lightroom templates for you, uh, but she doesn't have any two page layouts. I don't think. Um, and so that's why I converted all of these of Janet's um, because I love my two page layouts as you all know. So when I am working on these, Janet has this little, handy dandy guide that you can use that shows it's a key. You just figure out how many total photos you have, how many need horizontal and vertical. It's super helpful and speeds things up a lot for me and it's often how I figure out which template I'm going to use. I've chosen to use um, template number two and then I have all of my photos down here and to get these placed all I need to do is drag and drop and put these photos where I want them. If I happen to put a photo in a spot and change my mind, I can just command and undo. But you have to do it right away. Once you've moved on to another photo, it's kind of stuck. Or you can place a photo on top of it if you want to do that. So I'm working on getting all of these placed exactly where I want them. so that this layout will tell the story that I want it to tell. And I'm having a hard time remembering which of these photos have already been used and which haven't. That looks like they're, those might be the same. Yeah, there we go. That's a cute, actually I think I'm going to switch these because that I love the expression on her face there. So I'm going to do that. And then I have a few, let's see. Let's drop that one there. Put this one up there. So I have a few extra blank spots, as you can see. And this is where I'm going to drop my supplies, just so that they'll hold that spot when I move it over to Photoshop. There's nothing. This one I know that I'm going to want to put a video here and so I'll probably do that QR code right there with the video and that will be this video that's right here 
and then I'm going to do probably some kind of a title and some journaling. This will be some more journal journaling here because of this photo. It tells a story and so I need to make sure that I leave room to tell that story. I'll put a title here and some other papers and maybe journaling cards in some of these other spots too. So I just I'm dragging and dropping these. And then once I have everything where I want it to be, I'm going to go ahead and click on print. And then the PDF and save as PDF. And I have an earlier version of this that I saved that I'm just going to save over. Now I go over to Photoshop and I have a blank canvas set up there that's 24 by 12 at 300 dpi and I'm going to go in and open that PDF. I found that it works better if you open it than dragging and dropping for some reason. The sizing is better. I want to make sure that the setting on that was 300 dpi. I know that mine are set up that way so I didn't stop to change it but on yours when you do it make sure that it's 300 dpi when you're bringing it in onto your canvas. And this is what it looks like. You can see the canvas, the blank canvas poking through underneath in some of these areas. So these are just my placeholders and I want to make them clipping masks. So I'm going to zoom in here and select this part of the layer. And then edit, cut, select, reselect, so that it reselects that spot and then it'll, when we paste, it will drop that right into that spot that was selected. Otherwise it could end up anywhere on your canvas. So we'll zoom back out and you can see now that this is its own layer. And we're going to go back to Lightroom and in the library module find that supply by right clicking on it and going to show in Finder. On a PC it would be show in Explorer. And then we're going to scroll down and find a pa paper, just any paper will work. And go back into Photoshop, drag and drop that onto our canvas. Just going to reposition it a little bit. To clip my paper to that shape, I'm just going to make sure that paper layer is selected and on my Mac it's Command Option G. On a PC I believe it's Control Alt G. In Photoshop Elements it's just going to be Command G or Control G. So there we have our paper. We can go ahead and continue to do this with each of these spots. I will also open one of the Cindy Schneider templates into Photoshop, edit it with papers and then bring it in here so that I can add my QR code of that cute video of my daughter riding this ride. When I'm all done, you can, if you want to bring this back into Lightroom, save it as a PSD and save it as a JPEG. I always keep both versions. And then to get it back in Lightroom, all you need to do is click on Import and find where you saved those layouts and then bring them back into Lightroom and tag them however you want. Set up a new collection with those layouts, whatever you want to do. That is how my workflow works when I'm working on layouts and creating the collages in Lightroom and then bringing them over to Photoshop. It's lickety split, super fast, and I love it. If I had all of my papers in Lightroom, imported into Lightroom, I could just drag and drop those papers into these photo spots in the template instead of these placeholder previews. But I don't have my papers in there and I like my system that's been working for me for several years so I'm not going to take the time to bring my papers in. This works really great for me plus it's easy for me to swatch, swap them out and change it up as I want to 
as I'm working on the layout and adding different word arts and banners and pennants and all of that kind of stuff. And that's where I will do that in Photoshop and add my different t type typography, journaling, all of that will be done right here in Photoshop on these different spots where I've put the placeholders and it will come together.